are fishing today with Nina and Kitty, uh, right off the Souk Harbor uh, possession point. Pretty popular local spot, but uh, a little windy and lumpy today, so we have the spot more or less to ourselves. There's only three or four other boats here. Yeah, this is a popular spot for myself. We come here, uh, the family and I, for uh, pretty much the month of August every year. Uh, it's a great location. It's close to the beach, easy to get to. You can fish here in any size of boat. Uh, it's fairly well protected. We don't get the big ocean rollers here. We don't get the big storms, so most guys can get out and fish most days, uh, and you're you're into the to uh, the dock pretty quick. Uh, it's also a popular spot because there's lots of fish here, and uh, people have good success fishing Chinook, Coho. Uh, this is a pink year, so there's been lots of those around and. Halibut fishing is only a couple miles offshore here. So we're uh, going to target some Chinook here today. Uh, there's a few coho, a few other species around, but we're really shooting for the Chinook fishery. We're inshore. Uh, a lot of these fish are holding up here right now. We haven't had much rain. Uh, they're getting near the end of their feeding cycle, but uh, they're still feeding aggressive right now and, and uh, hitting the lures hard. So it's been a real fun fishery. I get a real mix of fish, especially in this soup basin. They come down the Juan de Fuca Strait, and if they haven't gone on the outside of the uh, Olympic Mountains, they're heading in here, they could be going anywhere. They could be uh, local souk fish, where they have a, a really good restoration project on the go here. Uh, they could be Fraser River fish going past here, and uh, a lot of San Juan fish, American fish going here as well. So far, a lot of our fish have been wild, which is really nice to see. So uh, I think there's a lot of local fish here right now. Yeah. Uh-oh. Does it have it? Oh, it's have it. Oh, do I? Oh. He's still there. Oh, he's riding pretty well. I can't see what I'm doing. so far in the cooler and this is the third one and the biggest one so I'm happy yeah. we're just starting the flood tie here this is kind of what we expected or hoped would happen yep. and uh, we you know we started earlier ran into town for a break for a break came out and we've just been fishing maybe 10 minutes here now one pass so we're hoping the bites on I personally like a nice tight little roll we're going a bit slow here right now so it's not rolling. 
where the bait just rolls over and you see that flash of the belly every time. Looks like a wounded fish. Hopefully entices a bite. Well, we were fighting a bit of current over at Possession. It was really starting to rush there and some big swells. Uh, it was pretty tough to, to keep the bait rolling the way we like it. So chose to tuck in here to uh, Trap Shack, which has uh, got a little more protection and uh, thought we might have a little more luck controlling our bait. When it's nice and smooth like this, it's, it's a lot easier troll. On the other side, it just got a bit a bit rough for us to hang on to the rods, and, and especially if you've got some some uh, beginner fishermen or you're trying to do some camera work like we're doing today, uh, kind of need the cameraman to be able to keep both feet on the on the deck. Yeah. So what? And sometimes a, a change of location for me is I don't know, it kind of just uh, it's maybe it's a superstition thing of some sort, but it's uh, it's like a fresh start. You kind of build this new level of confidence. If you've gone for a little while in one area and not had any luck, uh, just moving to another area sometimes is like starting starting a whole new day of fishing. Yeah. Oh, oh, fish, 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 fish. Sorry. I don't even know if he's still on there after that. Just a little guy. Oh, 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 oh easy release. There we go. Barbless hooks. <laughs> that's, it's off, it's off, it's off. You're playing just, that's all fish there. Let it, let it run. Oh, no. Oh, still there. Is it okay that it's on top of the water? Yep, that's good. No! Oh, he's still there. Oh. This side? Yeah, we're gonna net them on this side. Oh, this is crazy! Okay, can I get you just to step just a little, just a little wee bit? Just give me one this second. This side? Here. Yeah, that's good. That's good. Just get that out of the way. Has so much uh, head shaking, huh? Yeah, he's not a very big fish either. But a lot of uh, head shakes. Sure got lots of energy. Like, look at him, he's going crazy. Phil's, uh, yeah, Phil's has a, I guess, good weight to it. Oops. Woo! I got it here. Oh, I love the colors. Up a bit more. Lift up a bit more. I'm lifting. There you go. You got him? Yep. Oh, good. Oh. Another nice fish. Yeah. So that was, uh, yeah, it's, it's the second one of, um, well, for me. So I guess that's uh, my limit here. A little bit smaller than uh, the first one, but still super nice, right? Nice Chinook. The anchovy and a teaser head Look there. Look at it, he just chomped it, right? Yeah. And that's the, is that the different one, Rob? That's a green glow, yeah. 
Yeah, because the first couple we got it on a, a white one. Yeah. We started at Possession Point. Yeah, Possession. Just out of Souk Bay, and we just quickly ran over to the Trap Shack for a little tack here to see, find something, and we did. Yeah, we did, and uh, you said it fishes very well, and uh, that we'd at least get something, and it was only about 10 minutes before we uh, hit this fish, and it's, right, it's perfect, right at the end of the day. Um, I'm gonna our... try and talk you into staying a couple more minutes, because I'm seen a bunch of fish on the screen up there. So oh, I, we'll you, do, you don't need to convince me. I'll stay out. <laughs> we'll do one more tack and then we'll get you on the fish. Sweet. Thank you so much. <laughs>